In this video, we're looking at 2018 Ordinary Maths uh, Paper 2, Question 8. The diagram shows a section of a garden divided into three parts. In the diagram, length of PR is 3.3 uh, meters. Length of PQ is 6.5 meters. Length of QT is the same as length of QS, which is 8 meters. QT, QS. Uh, measure of angle QRP is 90, measure of angle PQR given by alpha, and measure of angle RQS is beta. So we use theorem of Pythagoras to find RQ, and um, Pythagoras for PQR, um, PQ is the hypotenuse, uh, PR plus RQ add to give you the hypotenuse, so writing this down, PQ, length of PQ squared is the same as length of R, uh, P, squared plus length of R Q squared. Substi uh, substituting the values, I'm going to get that 6.5 squared equals to 3.3 uh, squared plus length of R Q squared. Um, simplifying, uh, I'm going to get that R Q squared is equal to 6.5 squared minus 3.3 .3 squared. And then taking squared the root of both sides, I get the length of RQ is equal to the square root of 6.5 squared minus 3.3 .3 squared. So now I can substitute um, that will be equal to square root of 42.25, 42.25 minus 10.89. And that's um, square root of 31.36. And that's equal to um, 5.6. So that's the length of our Q. Um, in the next question, we have to show, next part of the question, we have to show that uh, alpha is 31 degrees correct to the nearest degree. So in this case, I'm now, I now know that our Q is um, 5.6 meters. So I can use this uh, right angle triangle and I can use any of the trigonometric relationships in a right angle triangle. So looking at angle alpha, sine of alpha would be the opposite, which is 3.3 .3 over the hypotenuse, which is 6.6. .6. So let's write that down. Sine alpha is 3.3 um, .3 divided by 6.5. Um, so if that's the case, then alpha is inverse sine of 3.3 .3 divided by 6.5. And that is equal to 30.51 degrees. And rounding up, alpha equals to 31 degrees. So I can add this here, that's 31 degrees. Lovely, so that's another thing done. Then use the value of alpha given in part B to find the value of beta. So let's take a look at my diagram. I'm looking for this angle here, that's angle beta. And I'm noticing that alpha and beta lie along the straight line. So beta and alpha are supplementary angles, which means they add up to 180 degrees. Um, and if that's the case, beta is equal to 180 degrees minus um, 31, and that is equal to 149 degrees, so beta. 149 degrees, and I can leave that um, leave that here. Next part of this question asks us to use the cosine rule to find the length of RS and give our answer correct to one meter. So first thing is I'm going to write the cosine rule. Um, and here we have A squared equals to B squared plus C squared minus twice A, B, cause of angle between those two sides C. Look into my diagram. I'm looking for the length of RS. So RS is this side here. And I notice that I know the length of RQ and the length of QS, 5.6 and 8 meters. And I also know the measure of the angle between those two sides. So I can use those facts to find the RS using the, um, using the cosine rule. And in this case, um, I'm going to say that length of RS is the same as A. So I will just keep A for the sake of simplicity of writing things down. 
So that tells me that a squared is the same as 5.6 squared plus 8 squared minus twice by 5.6 by 8 by cos of the angle between the two sides, which is 149. So simplifying, we get that a squared is equal to 31.36 um, plus 64 minus um, the result of this calculation is 76.802. Uh, so that means that a squared is the same as 172.162. Um, so uh, knowing that, I can find that a is equal to square root of 172. 16, uh, which is 13.121 and now we're giving our answer correct to the nearest meter so I'm noticing that the first decimal point is 1 less than 5 so I run down and from this I'm going to get that length of RS is 13 meters correct to the nearest meter. Next question, we are told that, um, let's take a look at diagram. SQT is a sector of a circle whose center is Q. We have to find the length of the arc TS. Give our answer correct to the nearest decimal place. One decimal place. So we have to find the length of this arc. So what's going to help me to find the, the length of that arc is the fact that um, angle alpha and the angle TQS are vertically opposite. So they have the same measure, 31 degrees. And the uh, arc ST is formed by tracing angle 31 degrees along the circumference of circle of that circle. So um, I can use the fact that the radius of the circle is 8 meters to find the length of the arc. And uh, the formula for an arc in a circle with a given angle and a given radius um, will be given by uh, length of the circumference of a circle, 2 pi r. Um, and that multiplied by 30 uh, by fraction by the angle formed by um, let's call that angle theta uh, by angle formed by the arc over 360 degrees. So we can substitute 2 pi uh, by 8 multiplied by uh, 31 over 360. Um, so if we do this calculation and simplify, we're going to get that this is equal to 62 over 45 pi. And turning this into a decimal that's equal to 4.328 meters and correct to one decimal place. I'm noticing that one de the second decimal place is less than five, so we're rounding down. So that is equal to 4.3 meters correct to one decimal place. And the area of that sector uh, is found. Um, of sector TS will be found using the formula pi r squared multiplied by angle formed by the sector over 360. So it's a fraction of the full circle area. So substituting the values, we're going to get pi multiplied by 8 squared and we multiplied it by 31 over 360. Um, all that in degrees. And uh, when we do this calculation, we're going to get 248 over uh, 45 pi and um, uh, turning it into a decimal this is equal to 17.313 and again we're going to correct to one decimal place so this is going to be equal to 17.3 meters squared and that was the last part of the problem so it's a good place to stop